So before I touch on more details, I'd like you to see these fascinating structures generated by uh, uh, Sonomonas aeruginosa, which is very, very common uh, gram-negative bacteria. Although we do not know much details about these valleys and, uh, and, and the hills you see in the video, but uh, what I want to emphasize here is uh, how uh, phenotypically uh, plastic these uh, bacteria are and, uh, and how responsive they, uh, they are to their surroundings. So, so most uh, collective behavior you see in the uh, bacteria community, such as uh, bioluminescence, uh, bioform formation, congregation, uh, by, uh, antibiotic production, and also uh, virulence factor are all controlled by uh, the quorum sensing. So what is uh, quorum sensing? Quorum sensing is a, a phenom phenomenon by which uh, bacteria can communicate with one another. So, uh, so this, this can be achieved through the production of small uh, molecules, as you can see here. Um, these uh, molecules can, be, uh, can freely di uh, uh, diffuse across cell membranes, so, uh, and they also can be detected by other individuals in the population. So once a threshold limit is reached, uh, then there, this may cause a, a change in gene expression, and so in this way, um, uh, the bacteria, a population of bacteri bacteria uh, can coordinate their activities in, in a collective way. Uh, so why we use Julian to build a, a agent-based modeling, a uh, simulation model to study cooperation uh, uh, in bacteria. So uh, it's because Julia is fast and also very efficient. Uh, so, but how could we do that? Uh, the first step is to uh, simplify the uh, complicated uh, uh, biological processes. So in the current model, uh, bacteria, bacteria can only do two things. One is to produce uh, signal molecules such as C4 and C12 uh, in the pseudomonas. Another is to uh, make public goods such as the uh, uh, toxins and proteases. Uh, uh, so, when they turn on the corporation. So, uh, at least here, uh, so there are a bunch of model assumptions that I list here, but hopefully uh, I will, we will um, relax some of them in the future work. So, uh, so based on the uh, model assumption, we can write down very, uh, the first order uh, signal dynamics in a very simple form. So basically, the, the changing rate of uh, signal concentration here is equal to uh, the production of signal subtract from the, uh, uh, subtract the, uh, the loss of signal. Um, another important uh, mechanism, uh, biological mechanism that I didn't mention earlier is the auto-induction, which refers to the uh, positive cell back loop to enhance the uh, production of signal. So we add a one uh, adi uh, additional term to indicate uh, the additional uh, signal generated by the auto-induction mechanism. So uh, cooperation uh, in bacteria is very complicated and uh, has uh, multiple uh, social dimensions. So different individuals may uh, play different strategies. Uh, so uh, here we have a well type which has a, a production, uh, signal production rate and also a response threshold to, uh, to the signal uh, upon which the uh, uh, bacteria will turn on the corporation. Um, so in experimental evolution here, we can also observe uh, a Lazar cheat mutant, which makes less signal uh, and also has a relative higher uh, 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 struggle to respond. So another strategy that you could, you could think of is the coercive strategy uh, where you signal more and you can get, uh, maybe get more response out of your neighbors. But this type of strategy is very hard to observe in nature, uh, possibly due to the genetic linkage between the uh, signal production and also the uh, uh, threshold response, response threshold. So, 
using Julia, we can perform uh, in silicon uh, evolution to explore the, the uh, evolution dynamics. So down here, you can, you can think it is a uh, well tab. So this is a strategy when you are uh, whispering, uh, just make a little amount of signal, but you are very responsive. Uh, so what I worry here is number of founders. So uh, uh, basically, as you increase number of mixing founders, uh, you decrease the uh, average of genetic relatedness. Uh, so what you see here are some very in interesting trajectories. Uh, so first, you move up towards uh, this uh, beautiful line here. Uh, at this stage, you start to see the coercive strategy to involve. And uh, but you, so what you see here is sort of uh, arm racing here, uh, but eventually we see a clap for the corporation. So one of fun features in simulation is is that we can add in more uh, genetic constraints and more uh, uh, mechanism and more uh, dimensions of evolution. So so he, well, uh, so what you see here is the same uh, simulation, but uh, we did in the previous slide. But we add in, uh, but we allow the third dimension to involve, which is uh, the uh, auto induction. So initially, uh, the trajectory are very similar, but uh, uh, we see more uh, persistent of cooperation, especially when, when uh, the genetic mixing is higher. Uh, what we think uh, the reason of why this tra trajectory are more robust is because the ability of involving the auto-induction mechanism. And so basically, uh, general, generalized uh, reciprocity protects uh, cooperation from exploitation by cheese. So uh, re related to check is uh, whether the quorum sensing behavior is really a threshold behavior. Uh, the answer is not. So a PhD student, in, in, uh, Jennifer Ratri, in our lab is doing experimental evolution to, uh, to ask uh, uh, how, how do uh, microbes respond to the increasing density and why. So uh, what we observe here is the population response is a kind of uh, graded behavior rather than the circular behavior. Uh, so when we look at the response at single cell level, we found the uh, cell response is really uh, heterogeneous. So uh, this imposes many uh, computational uh, challenges to the project. So one, one of them would be uh, implementing a heterogeneous population. Uh, uh, so Basically, each individual may uh, uh, perform differently than the founder string. And second, we need a faster and more robust way to solve uh, dynamic uh, ODE or PDEs and the running time. And another challenge will be uh, um, to uh, parallelize the code at generation level for the evolutionary simulations. So in summary, um, the uh, uh, the uh, biotechnology is now, nowadays enables the research at a single cell level. So, uh, so at the computational side, uh, it also requires the Julian to provide um, uh, the high performance platform to uh, and enrich packages to uh, implement these complex behaviors and to help uh, rigorously test the uh, existing series and de help develop new series to. Uh, get a mechanistic uh, understanding uh, of uh, cell cell communication in bacteria. So uh, with that, I would like to thank my mentor, Sam Brown, and also my lab members, and also Will and Howie, who have uh, largely involved this uh, quorum sensing project, and also thanks for the travel support from the uh, Julian Conference, and many thanks for, for your attention.